Hello guys, this is the video number five. The last video was we recorded a few weeks ago, it was in Sweden. Today we are in Switzerland and today I will do my max out jerk session up to 90% but up to 60% and 60% we will do with the front squat and when it will be 70% and more we will do just jerk. Let's go to warming up. So the goal of this exercise is to warm it up. It's a good for the elbows rotation because it's almost close with the clean. And why cluster is better than thruster? Because with the cluster you can fix and drop the weight. With the, with the thruster you need always to receive the bar on your shoulders. So that's why it's additional time when you hit your lower back. So that's why for warm up, it's much better to do cluster. When did you decide change from split to power jerk? Huh, it's uh, it's a funny story. Or? The first five, no, in the beginning in Soviet Union, and now it's the same in China school. The kids first six twelve months they do split jerk okay. on the both legs, and they do additional power jerk. Okay. And after six twelve months, they decide with the coach what is better. So left side, right side or power? Yeah, or power. Ah, okay. Yeah, uh, especially for me, uh, my main exercise first five years was the split jerk. My best was around 190. Okay. But in one time I switched to power jerk and I, I feel that it's much better and much comfortable for me. When you do muscle clean, when you do a cluster, especially when you do movements with the bar on your chest, uh, I recommend to move the bar closer to the body and it will be good if you will touch your chest. Especially when we do this exercise, we build the skill to move the bar closer and it's very important when we work with the heavy weight because if the bar is if we place the bar more far from the body we should spend more energy for balance because you need to always remember that you when you stay on the platform you are one object the bar on the platform is another object and each of these objects has a different center of the balance when you start to lift the bar you unite these two center of the balances in one. That's why if you place the bar more far from your body, you need to compensate this and you need to move something back to compensate, to stay, to continue to stay on a full foot. That's why when you move the bar closer, you spend less energy and the tractor is more economical. Stay on a platform. We will try to do power turn. Take the PVC with a clean grip, put the PVC on your head, relax your arms. First look, I move my body on the toes, I count one, two, three. I move my body down under the PVC. I don't press the PVC, I move, I move myself aggressively down from the PVC. This is the roof and you can press the roof. Move your body down. Move your body on the toes. Stronger, like make more noise. One, two, three. Because when you try to hit uh, stronger, you automatically do this faster. When you do this faster uh, movement faster, you do automatically this movement faster. So we are done our warm up. Uh, now we'll take the bars and we'll start to do front squat with the jerk. So up to 60% and 60% we'll do with the front squat. It will be two front squats and three jerks and 70 and more percent. It will be only jerk 
two sets, two reps each way. And I will do just one additional stop on the 70%. So 70% I will do two by two. The rest attempts I will do just one set, two reps each and go on the top. be 60% around 60% I will do the last set uh, front squat with the jerk and with the 140 kilos I start to do just jerk this moment everything is fine so now it's 140 it's the first weight what I will do without front squat uh, now it will be just jerk This is the first step. I produce my wrist straps and I use them only after 70-75% just to give additional stability for the wrist, not before. С этими дисками она смотрится все более эпично. А на самом деле она не так эпична, как она есть. I see that your your shoulders do a little bit this. Mm -hmm. Here. You do so, that on purpose? So when I do you want to hear, not here? Yeah. So it's very important to hold the bar not on the club because they know what it means blackout. Yes. When you so, yeah. yeah. So if you hold not on your shoulders, you will hold on your clavicles. Okay. That's why you will have a lot of chance to take a blackout. Okay. When especially, you stand up. Yeah. Okay. Especially when you stay from the clean. Yeah. And when it like you feel that I am ready for the jerk and yeah. go to sleep. For the beginners, we can say move your elbows up. And when they move the elbows up, they automatically move the shoulders up. Okay. And they transfer the pressure from the clavicles on the, the shoulders. Shoulder. Yeah. Okay. When the elbows look down. Yeah. You hold on a okay. close. But you're not afraid when you start pushing that shoulders go down on the way up. And so, lose momentum, you know what I mean? Yeah. Lose pressure when you when you come up. Yeah. When we do press, when we do strict press. Yeah. So our elbows should look down. Yes. Because we start from this position exactly yeah. to use our muscles, okay. our arms. Okay. When we do power jerk or split jerk, we do deep, we do drive, yeah. bar start to fly up. Yep. And we start to use our muscles only from this position. So that's why to hold like this or like this, it doesn't matter. Because some people think that for the jerk, it's very important to uh, to hold the elbows in this position because it's healthy. Uh -huh. For the to press. trajectory, yeah. so it doesn't go yeah, yeah, this yeah. way. Yeah. Okay. But the problem is that when you hold in this position, mostly when the athletes do deep, they do this. And they hold the bar not on the chest, not on the, on the wrist. Okay. Here. And when they okay. stand up, yep. they push bar forward. Okay.
feel that the shoulder is tight. Not enough speed for dropping. I need few me few more minutes rest. And probably I will do one more time on this way. Or maybe I will add more kilos. We will see. We're a little bit afraid because it was 100 kilos and the gym is on the second floor. The guy is, the guy is a little bit afraid because probably it was the, the best chance to move the bar to the first floor with a fast way. Now I will do my call down. I will do a little bit of stretching and see you in the next video. Uh, if you have some questions, ask me about this below this video and that's it bye